Hello Sagittarius viewers, I'm going to look into what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, um, what action they might be taking towards you in the next couple weeks or so, just whatever story the cards want to tell here. Let's see what's going on. The last reading I did, I was getting that there's a major energy shift with your person and that they're coming very close to, to caving in and reaching out and they want to apologize. You're experiencing some really deep nostalgia right now, which makes sense because we have Mercury retrograde going on for the next few weeks. And that typically does um, put people in this very introspective, meditative sort of energy and uh, pushes them to, to reach out to exes occasionally too. So, so it definitely makes sense. And if you've been following me, you know that this story has been go going on for months and months now of um, this, this energy group that I channel. It's like your person is... They have been emotionally unavailable, and usually I would just say that's a no-go, but for this person, it's like they actually are a pretty good person, but they're just very damaged from what they've gone through in childhood, um, from what they've been through in their relationships, just patterns that have repeated, but on a very deep level, this person actually does want a home and a family and commitment. Like, this person does actually have a good heart. Um, it's like they don't ghost, like a lot of people just ghost because they just want to mess around, they just want sex, they just um, want to play games, they want the ego boost, but with this person, I actually, with, I mean, with this group that I channel, I actually get that the emotional unavailability is more, um, it's more fear-based, it's, it's more just about, You know, fear of fear of rejection, fear of getting hurt. I mean, I know that's that's the case for a lot of people who are emotionally unavailable. Is it's you know, deep rooted in in fear, in trauma, in in not wanting to get hurt. But I just the energy is just different with this group than it is with other signs that I read. It's like, you know, some people just don't let themselves get attached. It's like they just kind of, you know, decide that love isn't for them, or they just they don't, or they they try to make themselves believe love isn't for them but this is like a whole different situation where it's like this person gets really really attached and so it's like they're just trying to to not get attached to anybody um but it's like it, it's I mean it's just different in the sense that like on a deep level they actually do want the family they do want the home they do want the commitment like the the thing that scares them is just the possibility of, of getting hurt again but they've been working through it. So they've had, the past year has been very life-changing for them. So some of them have gone on new journeys. They've maybe started new careers, um, met new people. It just brought in their horizons. I just, I get a very, I mean, I've been channeling this group for quite a few months now. And so if this is resonating with you, you might want to go back and check some of my other readings out because I've done um, other Sagittarius readings where I really go into depth explaining their commitment issues, explaining why they did the things that they did explaining you know just some of the wounds that they have and and why they keep acting so strange with you with this connection why they're so afraid and um I just I feel like this has been life like a life-changing year for them though I feel like they're really they're getting older and so they're starting to really think like hey do I really want to have do I really want to end up alone like do I really want to be this person years from now and so they're really taking responsibility for their for themselves finally they're taking responsibility for their own healing and they've been consistently working on themselves I feel the past year like I feel like they really have I mean it's been up and down it's been kind of messy but I feel like overall they really have improved themselves like they they really are working on this they really are trying to get to the root of their commitment issues and better themselves some of them might even be seeking help for their issues yeah they're trying to be strong you know willpower strength confidence they're they're trying to be strong some of them have some mental instability which is explains like the submissive weak willed it's like they it's like they're trying and then that mental instability and that fear and trauma kind of takes over and takes them off path. But they're trying to get in this energy and, and stay the course. Seems like you also have new love coming in here. Um, hmm, that's interesting energy, okay. I do still feel that energy that they've either just caved in and reached out with an apology or they're like close to it, like they're thinking about it. I almost feel like 
some of them might have taken a step back and decided, you know, what I need to... It's almost like self-sabotage where they start reaching out to you and then they're like, actually, I need to like uh, work on myself more. I need to maybe pause a little bit longer. I need to reflect on everything. I need to perfect myself. I need to make sure I'm ready for this commitment before I come in. Like they're really trying to perfect themselves. And it's not a bad energy. It's just kind of frustrating because it's like they do want to reach out and then it's like they, they're almost using this energy like what... Um, what they've been going through and, and whatnot as an excuse to not reach out, you know, like, like, no, I got to work on myself, like trying to be a, like a perfectionist, trying to make everything perfect before they reach out. But they do feel isolated, alone, empty. They do miss you. I do. I do get a longing here. I do get a lot of confusion from them right now, too. They are wanting to send a message, though, that's still there. That energy is still there. I don't know if they've done it yet. I hate to say it, but I feel more stagnant energy than I felt um, a couple weeks ago when I did the reading because I was getting like a breakthrough, like a major energy shift, like they're about to cave in, they're about to reach out, like wanting to apologize, like that was the current energy where they were just really thinking about you. Um, and I mean, I still get that same energy that they're thinking about you, but I also get like a stagnant energy where it's like they go to, to message you and then they kind of they think like, well, I need to perfect myself a little bit, a little bit more. I'm not quite ready for this. Like, I'm, I'm more mentally stable than I was a year ago, but, but I, I still need to, you know, do this, that, and the other before I can have a relationship. Like, just trying to, it's like procrastination, but they don't even realize that they're procrastinating. They're just, you know what I mean? Like, they don't even, they don't get it. Like, they, they're just, they're not understanding it. Like, I don't think they realize they're doing it in their minds. It's just like, oh, it's not, everything's not perfect yet. So I got to make everything perfect before I come forward, you know? And it's like, some of them are, are waiting and hoping and praying that you reach out first and that you send this message and you open communication up. And it's like, but you don't need to because it's like the ball's in their court, you know? They, they're the ones that need to, to send a message now for most of you. Yes, yeah, soulmate past life connection here. You have ties to this person too, like these red threads that keep you guys connected. So keep that in mind if you decide you want to end this, is that those red cords need to be cut if you do decide that you've had enough of this. Could be stalking you on social media for some of you. I actually do get quite the, oh, that does, okay, that does resonate a lot, actually. I do feel like, um, sorry, i got to level this out for you guys here. I actually do get a pretty strong energy of stalking on social media. Oh my god, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Publicity, social media. Yeah, I get... I feel that energy. I really do. Show me this Show me this energy, the stalking. Beauty, mystery, enchantment. Maybe looking at your pictures. There's a sexual energy here too. A very strong sexual energy. Maybe looking at your pictures wondering like there's like a sense of mystery like trying to figure out what you're doing who you're with um enchantment you know wanting to make this move show me show me more about the publicity card vulnerability receptivity it's a very sexual energy here yeah i feel them i feel them stalking you i really i get that energy here where i feel like they're just watching you on social media or maybe you're leveling up in some area of your life like like a new job or just new abundance coming in and they're noticing that you're leveling up. And so that's kind of drawing them in more. Like there's just a, there's an energy here where it's like you're very attractive to them right now. I don't know if you've been posting new pictures of yourself on social media um, or posting videos or something. But it's kind of like they're watching those videos or the, the social media, like something on social media, I feel. Unless like you guys know each other in person, but there's just a sense of them watching you right now. And it's like they're waiting and they're hoping and praying that you send the message first, probably because of their pride. Maybe they're not sure how you feel anymore at this point because they kind of know that they've taken too long to get it together and heal themselves. It's like they had a lot of inner work that they had to do and they're they're doing it now, but it's almost like almost like this person has a bad sense of time too. I feel like they maybe go long periods of time without talking to you and it's like they get stuck in their head and then they're like, oh, oh crap, it's been like, three months since we've talked oh my god and like that like text you and they're like oops like I feel like they just kind of like 
are like introverted or isolated. I don't know. There's just that like energy where it's like they're just they kind of like disconnect from from reality to some extent. Like they they are just kind of in their heads a lot. I guess if that makes sense. So yeah, they're waiting for you to send this message, but again, they need to they need to reach out. It's like it's their turn to reach out. It's their turn to take control here. I think they're just not sure how you feel. And it's frustrating because like the reading I did for you guys a couple weeks ago, it's like I felt that they were in that energy where they were about to cave in and reach out. Like they were really want like I felt that for you guys. Like that they were about to just, you know, they were feeling nostalgic. They were very vulnerable, very open just wanting to apologize, wanting to get things moving. And I feel like, I feel like the energy is inconsistent here. So I feel like they could be in that energy again, like tomorrow or the next day. And then two days later be in this energy where they're like, not sure if they're ready. They need to, they need to perfect themselves. They need to go to counseling longer. They need to um, work on themselves more. They, they, um, which isn't a bad energy, but it's like they, I'm almost worried, though, that they're using that as an excuse. As Like, I don't think they realize they're doing it, but I almost worry that it's, like, making their commitment issues wor worse. You know what I mean? Because they're, like, they're perfecting themselves. Like, they're really opening their mind. They're having these new experiences. They're having these energy shifts. Their, um, their, their, their perspective has changed gradually over the past year, and they've had epiphanies, especially regarding your connection. And just about life in general, like I feel like a very like spiritual energy around them, like their their mind has just really opened up, like they're really um, looking at the entire world differently these days. Like they're they're really they're starting to take responsibility for themselves. Where I think before they were really immature and sort of just blamed other people and just made excuses for their commitment issues. And now I think they're saying, you know what, I do want a home. I do want a family. I do want to be happy and I have to take responsibility for myself and my healing and make that happen. I can't just have commitment issues for the rest of my life just because of what I've gone through with, with friends or family or significant others. They're like, you know, I, yes, I've been through a lot, but I need to take steps now to make that better. You know, I think they've been cutting out a lot of people in their lives that are negative and they've been opening themselves up to more loving, genuine people like trying to, I think that they have patterns and cycles that they've been in and they're really conscious of those patterns finally, whereas before they just made excuses, but now they're actually like aware of those patterns and they're working consistently to break them. And, um, you know, they're, they're, I think they're talking to new people, like as friends, I think like they're, they're making, like they have like a new social circle or they're, they're like trying to manifest a new social circle because they want healthier, more stable people in their life. Like they want to be around people that will have a positive influence on them. And, um, I mean, I know like for those of you that have been with me for months and months, it's like, it's a continued story. Cause I mean, with this kind of, with this kind of, um, energy, it's like this, this healing takes time. You know what I mean? It's not like an overnight thing. It's like they had very deep rooted commitment issues, but I would say out of all the, all the Zodiac signs that I channel, when like an ex comes up and they have commitment issues, like this is probably the one that I feel the most positive about because they actually have the will and the drive in and that passion, that, um, that push to change themselves, that push to, to, um, they're a very passionate person. So it's like, they have such a strong will. They, they just love life. Like they love life or they want to love life. Like they have such a strong push to just better themselves, to heal themselves, to, to make a positive impact on the world, to, to make their life what they want it to be. And this person is intelligent too. So it's like, they're actually becoming aware of these subconscious patterns. A lot of people just have these subconscious patterns with people, with toxic people, with, with commitment issues, with this, with that. And they don't even realize it. They just assume it's other people. And it's like, it's such a beautiful energy here. Cause it's like your person actually understands, like they're starting to understand the psychology of it. Some of them might be even studying psychology, um, or studying, like taking communication classes or taking some sort of a class to better themselves. And it's like, it's starting to finally like compute where they're like, they understand the subconscious patterns. They understand how their childhood plays into this, how their relationships from the past play into this. Um, and they are, so, so it's like, they're aware of it. They're aware of their body language, of their energy, of their patterns. And so they're actually working on 
like they're taking control and actually really working on healing this and becoming the person they want to be. So it's a really hopeful energy, you know, because for most emotionally unavailable people, it's like their person wants them to change, but they don't want to themselves change where this is like they want to change themselves. Like you don't need to tell them they already are there. They're on board with it. They want this too. They want more. Um, but, oh, what I, God, what I was saying. Yeah, they want to be loyal and stable. They they want to be loyal and stable. They're just, they're not, maybe they never have been, been before. Maybe they've never really been loved by anyone before. So they're not used to being loved so deeply. Um, what I was saying, though, is the, the one red flag, like the thing I do worry about, though, is that they're, they're passionate and they're a perfectionist. And I, I almost worry that that is... How do I explain this energy? It's like they think about texting you or calling you or messaging you on social media or, or reaching out somehow. And then they just think like, oh, I'm not ready yet. Like I need to perfect myself. I need to make sure I'm 100% stable. Like need to have quit using substances for a whole six month period before I can have a relationship or I need to... Um, you know, have gone to, gone to get help or something for my mental issues for a whole six months or a whole year before I can have a relationship. And it's almost like a sabotage though. Cause then when they get to that six month mark, they're like, well, I also need to lose some weight. So I'm going to go to the gym and, and, and I'm going to give myself three months. And after that, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'll be able to have a relationship or, you know what I mean? Where it's just continued. Like once they meet that goal, it's like, it's, it's like a hamster wheel, like just in circles, never enough. Like, oh, well, I got to I got to do this and I got to do that before I can have a relationship. And once they do that, there's something else that comes up that they just have to do before they're ready. And it's like they're not understanding that there's no good time for love. Like no one's ever ready for love. It's just one of those things that catches you off guard sometimes, you know? And it's not a bad thing that they're trying to protect the, um you know, um perfect themselves in trying to be a better person. But at the same time, at some point, it's like if they've gotten relatively stable and still have some work to do, it seems like that would still be a good time to be in a relationship. So I almost wonder that it's like they don't recognize that it's their commitment issues coming up, but it is. And they're like using the perfectionism as an excuse to keep not committing. You know what I mean? But they're not recognizing that. But they recognize they're really intuitive and intelligent in other ways. Like they're recognizing everything else, but they're not recognizing that one pattern that they still have. And so it's like, again, it's really mixed energy. Um, yeah, you're their happiness, their warmth, their light. They really miss you. They see you as an angel in their life, male or female. They see you as someone who's empathetic, supportive, loving. They really, There really is that emotion there, that passion for you. It's a very passionate person, very intelligent, very passionate, very independent person that I get here. And like I was saying, it's like back and forth energy. Like what I felt a couple of weeks ago is like they were so close to caving and reaching out and then... It's like they got in this energy of perfectionism where they're like, wait, no, maybe not. Maybe not yet. Like maybe next week, maybe the week after, maybe after I go to, the, after I've been to the gym for a couple months, after, after I meet this goal, this goal, this, you know what I mean? And so I think it's kind of back and forth where it's like a couple days from now, they might just be like, you know what? Screw it. I need to reach out. I need to make sure because they, they're worried you might move on if they don't reach out. You know what I mean? So it's like back and forth energy. It's like the current energy, they're they're being a perfectionist, but I feel like this changes all the time where it's like in two days they might be like, crap, I better reach out. I better reach out. And then they're like, no, wait, wait, wait. Let's let's wait a minute. Let's let's work on ourselves. Let's they don't want to be too hasty and they, they can't figure out if they're being too hasty or not. Yeah. They want to make sure that their commitment issues are really done with before they reach out. So it's, it makes things complicated. Can you show me the new love? Because you also have a new love coming in here. And if this is your reading and you want a private reading, like I can go more in depth into this situation, like how your person feels, um, if they're wanting to reach out, like just more of like an individualized story for you. And I can also look into this new love for you as well if you want. So my email address is below. It is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. And they have that nostalgia, but it's like there's this pride and stubbornness and confusion that's kind of blocked them. And it's like they need to move through that. And they need to choose a path. But you have new love. Show me the new love really quick. Show me the new love. I feel like it's showing me the same person. It feels like this is a... I guess it could be renewed love. But I feel like there might be a second energy for some of you. Hmm. 
it's like consciously that fear of commitment, but it's like they can't ignore the dreams and the visions and the telepathic bond that you guys have. There's just a desire to kind of take things slow, kind of ease into this. Yeah, there's a sexual, there's a strong sexual energy between you two. You might be like doing sex magic or like picking up on each other's energy or something with sex here. Like you guys do, you guys are doing that on, you know, at the same time without even being conscious of it. Um, they're wanting, could be this energy too that's like whatever you're manifesting here is making them want to come in here with a love offer. Yeah, magic. Some of you are doing magic and it's working. It's working. <laughs> I'm like some of you are doing magic and it's working. <laughs> There's miscommunication in the past, but they want to end that. They want to end that miscommunication and that cycle of anger. And they want to communicate. They want to understand you better. So I hope this resonates. Um, any donations are appreciated. Even just a dollar, like it really adds up quickly. My PayPal link is right below. You can just click the link. It's like 20 seconds. Um, and it means a lot to me. Um, no amount is too small. And um, please subscribe if this resonates. Thank you for watching.